good work. Don't try to slow these two down. Gotta make wide turns for this big train. Meet eight-year-old Willow. There you go. And four-year-old Olive <laughs> from Ellicott City. Both have spina bifida, while Willow also suffers from hydrocephalus. Yeah. Willow, she had her back closure when she was born. So the first 24 hours, she actually had two surgeries. Versus Olive, um, I opt to have Chop do a in utero surgery. What's the oinker? Hey. Oh, okay. The Bennett Blazers get to play a variety of sports. We did hockey, sled hockey, and tennis. On this day, it's an obstacle course. This is tricky. And basketball to start, shooting for the stars. Push it strong. But the girls weren't always willing to yeah, jump into something new. One olive. First tried, we were scared, but now we're getting really better. Coming from a military family, dad's active duty in the Navy, mom's now in the reserves, Willow had a tough start in Maryland, but now it feels like home. We walked in and she's just like, everybody's in a wheelchair, everybody is like me. And that's what we, we do here is try to teach the kids that they can still do everything that any other kid can do, even if they do it from a wheelchair. The girls have serious ability. Pull. Push the wheelchair pull. aside, they do it all. Push-ups, ah. sit-ups, right, sit or even turning into little mermaids. This is just the beginning for Willow and Olive. This exact program has produced several Paralympic athletes, including this one, 18-year-old Daniel Romanchuk, who just competed in Rio. He started with us when he was two and stopped doing the same, the motor development program that Willow and Olive are in. And they have the chance to meet Daniel. The girls had watched him in one of his races, qualifying races, and then he showed up here and just like blew their mind because they're all like, Mom, isn't, isn't that? We caught up with Daniel via Skype. He's out of town working on Nordic skiing, a new sport for Daniel after he competed in track and field in Rio. Despite his success, he holds the Bennett Blazers close to his heart. And being in the Kennedy Krieger Bennett Blazers program has really helped me stay active. The Mount Airy native says he loves stopping by to see the new kids on the block. It's great to go back to Bennett and sort of see how the younger guys are sort of growing up. Kids like Willow and Olive, who may be young, but are wise beyond their years, telling others, don't give up. Yeah, you can do it. A bright future ahead for the next generation of Bennett Blazers. Lacey Griffith, WBAL TV 11 News.